When we acknowledge that sexual exploitation, or sextortion as we call it, is part of a wider continuum of violence against children and violence against women and girls, and we know that violence against children actually affect one billion children a year, uh, meaning one out of two, and violence against women and girls affect one out of three women in their lifetime, we can see that the phenomenon is actually widespread. I think one of the big obstacles that we have is a normalization of trading sex for grades, or sex for education, or sex for fees, or sex for jobs, until we, we, we acknowledge you know, that as a big issue that is absolutely not normal, and it's actually an abuse of power over others, mainly women, not only women, but mainly women, then we won't be able to solve the issue. And then it's really using the evidence. We do have a strong body of evidence on what works to prevent, to prevent both violence against children and violence against women and girls. And we really need to use that and scale these programs up. And, you know, changing social norms is absolutely doable and it's doable in the short term. I've seen it again and again. Uh, so, you know, change is indeed possible. We don't need to wait years and years and years to change social norms. We just need to give it politi political priority and money.